Hi there, young friends. Welcome to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are going on an exciting adventure through history to meet some incredible people who made the world a fairer place. Are you ready to meet some civil rights champions? First things first, let's understand what civil rights are. They are like the rules that say everyone should be treated the same, no matter who they are or where they are from. Imagine it as a big, friendly playground where everyone gets to play together. Imagine a world where you couldn't go to the library you wanted, eat at your favorite restaurant, or even play on the same swing set as your friends. That's how things were for many people, just because of the color of their skin. But guess what? Brave heroes called civil rights champions stood up and said, enough is enough. Rosa Parks. Let's meet Rosa Parks, a seamstress with a giant heart. One ordinary day in 1955, Rosa refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white man. That simple act was like a pebble dropped in a pond, sending ripples of change across America. Rosa's bravery sparked the Montgomery bus boycott, a protest where thousands of people refused to ride the buses until everyone was treated equally. It took courage, but they did it. And guess what? They won. Rosa Parks became a symbol of hope and resistance, reminding everyone that one person can make a difference. Martin Luther King Jr. But Rosa wasn't alone. Enter Martin Luther King Jr., a preacher with a dream, a dream of a world where everyone would be judged by the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. King led peaceful protests and delivered powerful speeches like, I have a dream, calling for equality and justice. He believed in nonviolent resistance, like singing songs and marching together, even when faced with anger and discrimination. King's message resonated with millions, inspiring people to stand up for what's right. He helped pass laws that made segregation illegal, paving the way for a more just America. Cesar Chavez Now, let's talk about Cesar Chavez. He cared a lot about the people who grow our yummy fruits and veggies. Cesar wanted them to be treated nicely and get fair pay. So, he used his voice to speak up for them and make things better for farm workers. Thurgood Marshall Let's give a high five to Thurgood Marshall. He was like a lawyer superhero, using his words to fight for fair rules. Thurgood played a big game of fairness in the courtroom, making sure everyone had a fair chance to be happy and safe. But the fight for civil rights wasn't just about these heroes. It was a team effort. Look at these amazing people. Harriet Tubman, a brave woman who led slaves to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Dolores Huerta, a powerful labor leader who fought for the rights of farm workers. Ruby Bridges, a brave six-year-old who integrated an all-white school, showing the world that courage comes in all sizes. So, why do these heroes matter? Well, they teach us that even small actions can make a big difference. If you see something not fair, like someone being left out, you can use your kindness to make it better. That's it for our journey today, friends. If you had fun learning about these amazing civil rights champions, give us a big thumbs up, share this video with your buddies, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more awesome stories at Reading Redness Centers. Keep smiling, keep being kind, and let's make the world an even better place together. See you next time.